severe avoidance are actually often people pleasers. Despite the selfish behavior when they shut down, deactivate, and discard a partner, they actually are people pleasers in most cases. And this goes back to childhood, when this person was emotionally neglected by their parents or caretakers. Their feelings were not nurtured. Quite the opposite, their feelings were routinely dismissed. If they were crying, they were told to suck it up. What they learned was that their feelings were not welcome. Their feelings did not matter. And when they did receive positive attention from their parents or caretakers, it was usually for some sort of achievement. So this teaches them that they aren't lovable enough as they are. They have to earn that love. They have to earn that affection. So you have a person that grows up to be an adult, and if they haven't healed this stuff, they're afraid to express their emotions, so they suppress their emotions, they bottle them up and run from them, and they learn that they are not lovable enough. These are actually the same reasons why they run from healthy relationships. They fear they aren't good enough, that they're going to get rejected, that they're going to get abandoned, and they don't express their feelings. They try to bottle them up, they try to avoid them, and they try to not process them. But prior to a discard, they are often catering to the other person, trying to make the other person happy, showing this person whatever it is that they think that that person wants to see, because they feel that's how they earn affection, that's how they earn love, that's how they earn attention not being their true authentic selves because they don't want to express their feelings because their feelings don't matter, at least in their own mind. And think about it this way. How can you have true emotional intimacy if you're not being your true authentic self? How can you have true emotional intimacy when you are people pleasing, when you are neglecting your own wants and needs and putting everybody else before you? Avoidance, fear, rejection quite a bit. And they learned as a child that your emotions, your wants, your needs will get rejected if you express them. So rather than express their feelings, they prioritize everybody else. Until, however, their fears are triggered to the point where they take their emotions, they stuff them because that's what they learned to do, shut down and run away from the situation because that's how they've learned to cope and handle with emotional and relationship stress, is to run from the problems. Because ultimately, they're not good enough, their feelings don't matter, and they're just going to disappoint their partner anyway. When they're in this insecure mode, they're only really thinking of themselves at this point. They've catered so much to everybody else that suddenly they become so absorbed in their own feelings. And people pleasing at its core is actually a bit selfish because you want to be liked, you want to be wanted so badly that you are willing to mold yourself into whatever it is that you think other people want to see. And severe avoidance, they don't know how to internally validate themselves. They re rely on external validation to feel better about themselves. So when they're people pleasing, they're getting that approval from people on the outside, which makes them temporarily feel better about themselves. However, that can also lead to resentment because the avoidant, well, they haven't vocalized their own wants and needs. They haven't expressed their feelings and they've been catering to everybody else. But over time, as they continue to stuff their own wants and needs and not express their feelings and cater to other people, they can start to resent the person that they're catering to. And this often can come out in a toxic way in the relationship with an abrupt discard. That is one of the main reasons why an avoidant can discard a partner is that they've learned to resent them because they haven't been getting their own wants and needs met. And the other main reason is that they feel like they're going to disappoint this person, that if this person gets to know the true them behind that castle wall that they build around their heart, they're going to see that the avoidant is unlovable and they're going to reject and abandon them. So these fears, they all play into somebody who is a people pleaser, somebody who will not be their authentic self out of fear of rejection and a deep fear of conflict because there will be a conflict if they express their emotions, at least that's their fear. So it is not uncommon at all for severe avoidance to be people pleasers. And this is why they may often seem like the most agreeable people you ever met. 